Is it the, why is it not letting me? We're with Ryan Stroman, the Niagara Ice Dogs. Ryan, uh, first off, maybe just tell us about the, the uh, re adjustment back to the OHL after your extended stay on Long Island with this fall. Um, it's definitely a little bit different, but uh, you know, it's uh, you know, it's different because the game's a little bit different. But uh, seeing the familiar faces and back in the familiar systems and uh, the coaching staff and stuff is uh, not too big of an adjustment. It's just uh, back to normal. It feels, and uh, you know, it's a lot of fun to be back with the guys in the team. And um, I had a great time in Long Island. I learned a lot, and uh, just been trying to adapt my game as much as I can and help the Ice Dogs win. Yeah, and no doubt you've been asked about this already, but with you know Ryan Nugent Hopkins make, makes the NHL, uh, Jonathan Huberdo is you know got a foot injury. But makes makes maybe is there a little added incentive for you know a top end offensive player like such as yourself to try to make a good impression tonight because you know Hockey Canada is definitely uh, maybe uh, look, really looking for those guys now that they've got some injuries and uh, NHL absences. Yeah, for sure. I mean, you always want to make an impression, obviously, but I mean, uh, you know, with the uh, extended stays and the uh, injuries, obviously it opens up opportunity and. Uh, I mean, we're still a long ways away from the World Juniors, and uh, a lot of things can happen still. But my job is just to go out tonight and uh, these two games I'm playing in, and play my best and try to, you know, make a good impression, like you said. And uh, hopefully, uh, you know, they remember my name after the game and uh, have a good one. How much do you think that staying that long with the Islanders is, is going to help? Is going to benefit you when you get into like the, you know, the high pressure, you know, short camp with the with Team Canada? You know, for four days to convince them that you're one of the right 23 players. Well, I think it was great for me. I mean, I learned so much and uh, there's so many little habits and uh, skills you can take out of those camps. I learned a lot. I'm, I feel like I'm a way better player. I uh, learned a lot about you know things on and off the ice and uh, guys were helping me out a lot and I'm really thankful for the opportunity and uh, I think it was great for me to get that under my belt so next year I can go in there and just play hockey and then more importantly for uh, you know the Team Canada camp have a little taste of a you know competitive training camp and what it's like to try to crack a roster and uh, you know play against some really good talent. What's a specific example of something off the ice that you learned there that you didn't know were you know it was complete, something that was completely alien to you before. Well, I mean, the, every team's got a little bit different training method and, uh, you know, nutrition method, and um, that's no different with New York. They had their things that they like to do, and, uh, you know, a lot of uh, cold tubs and uh, Gatorade and stuff like that. I mean, pretty basic throughout the league, but, I mean, there's always little things you pick up, and uh, things like that are the things that separate the pros from the guys in juniors. I'm just trying to adapt all those things I can now, and, uh, you know, that's my goal to make it one there one day, and, uh, you know, I'm, I think I'm on the right track, and I'm thankful that they uh, taught me so much while I was there. And obviously this doesn't, you know, tonight is not going to be the ultimate determinant of who gets who gets invited to camp and who doesn't. I mean, there's a lot of things they're going to look at. In your mind, how how important, though, is it? Like, what, if you were assigning, like, a, on a scale of, like, 1 to 100, like, what percentage do you think it is? <laughs> uh, it's tough to say. I mean, I think it's really important, but, I mean, at the same time, they watch you at the World Junior Camp uh, through your season and as well as here, and uh, still there's a little bit of time till the camp. So, I mean, it's all important. Uh, I think it's equally important just as any other game I play in junior because I think they're always watching, and uh, maybe there's a little bit added pressure because uh, you know, there's a lot of people watching, obviously, and uh, you know probably more hockey Canada people. But I mean, just try to approach like any other game, and um, you know I want to obviously play my best every night. But uh, tonight's definitely uh, you know a big one. And just switching gears to sort of set serious, so it's serious topic. Uh, uh, your namesake there, fellow first round pick Ryan Murphy, got hurt last week in a game against your team. So, sort of, what are your thoughts about that? You know, just and you know, concern, you know, concerns for Tom being out, being out and having to miss a lot of games. You know, Ryan's obviously a great player and would be a great guy to play with even for one night. Yeah, I mean, you never want to see a guy hurt, and uh, you know, it's tough to see, but I mean. I mean, the league's got their, uh, what, what they think, uh, 20 games, and um, that's fine. I mean, it's not really, we can't really worry about it. It's out of our control, and it is what it is. I know we're going to welcome Tom back with open arms when he comes back, and, uh, you know, he's just uh, staying patient. I mean, it's tough for him, but, I mean, uh, it's up to the league to make those decisions, and uh, you know, it is what it is. And there was a story in the paper the other day. They were talking to the dads of the four 67s players about Canada, Russia, 72. Uh, what's your, uh, your what your dad, Chris, has he shared any of uh, Canada, Russia memories with you? Uh, you know, a little bit. I mean, he's always up watching the World Junior Games. I remember him waking me up in uh, Nagano, I think it was. So he's always been a big Hockey Canada guy and uh, Olympics and World Juniors, and he's definitely very excited for me. And uh, um, he's going to be watching the game. I couldn't make it tonight, but he wanted to. And uh, he was a big supporter of me. And uh, you know, he's really happy I get the opportunity to play in these types of games. And uh, you know, he's uh, pushing for the best for me, and uh, I'm very thankful. So Nagano, you would have been in what junior kindergarten? Uh, I was really young. That's five. for sure. You would have been about four going on five. Yeah, it was really in the early in the morning. Too. I remember him pulling me out of bed to watch the game and uh, still remember that for t t till today. Yeah, you didn't have school the next day, or did you? You know what? I think at that time the Olympics were pretty important, so I mean, even if I did, I mean, I might have got back to bed after. <laughs>